Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and I am here returning to return to Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Evolution. By this point, Jurassic World Evolution 2 has come out, and I did want to finish up this LP before I even touched that game. But, unfortunately, while I wanted to have this covered a couple weeks ahead of release, it turns out I broke my save because in the time since the previous episode, I had dumped a lot of mods into the folder for this game, and I think there is actually a maximum mod capacity, so it crashed. So I took those out, and then I reinstalled some mods, including, as you can see here, time control mods. So right now time is paused, and then I can oop, set it back to go, or speed it the hell up. So no more waiting for the parts where I just sit around and wait. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely how they did that, but Frontier never bothered to do that? Though apparently Jurassic World Evolution 2 has time controls, and it's one of the only things that's better in that, <laughs> or so I've heard. Anyway, you might notice, if you somehow were familiar with my park last time, that it looks very different now. You know, here's the arrival, surrounded by water. I decided I hated how the park looked after the previous episode, and in the, like, day following that recording... I tore everything out except the visitor center. That's the only thing that hasn't been deleted or moved. And I basically rebuilt it. Rebuilt the fences. Unfortunately, I was also trying to heavily populate the fields over here. But then I was starting to run into dinosaurs getting pissed off because there were too many other dinosaurs. So, I... Began to fence off sections of it. So yeah, now it's all sectioned off, but we have a lot more dinosaurs out there. I also downloaded some modded species, but only one of them's actually popping up. I don't exactly know how to manage them. Just gonna start this stuff as I'm talking. But yeah, I'm ready to finish this DLC so we can say goodbye. I'm not doing Claire's Sanctuary. I don't care enough to do it, as I've said before. So here's the only modded species that's popping up right now. This should populate, because these were all tied to a specific mod, but I think some of it I might have to set myself, because you have a limited number of mod slots. Okay. So, our actual mission was to make a chamber full of compies. And I have, I think, one left in here waiting to be dropped off in our new compi enclosure. Because the one I had before was obviously a tiny little cage, so instead I made this nice little one here. Now yeah, that feeder's up on a hill. Well, it makes the compies more visible. I can't even see any little buggers. This new contract gives us improved data to work with, which can only help us achieve our goals. All right, Grant. Seriously, the where are the compies? They're in here somewhere. All right, well, let's drop the little bugger in. We are pleased to welcome a consignatus to the park. See this helicopter fly in this small dinosaur that could be released from a little crate. <laughs> Of course, if we want to get a close-up look at anything, it's still better to use photo mode or the NVIDIA photo mode. <laughs> it's just so tiny. But we should be getting to our flying reptiles in this episode, which is why I left a bunch of undeveloped room within the main fence compound so that we could plop down an aviary uh, right here. Oh, no. One of my other copies died of old age. It took me too long to do the renovations. Man, if one of those dies, how would you even find it? Unless the other ones were eating it. Okay, well, that means we need another copy. And maybe, maybe another, another one, just in case. Okay, so Grant wanted a Metriocanthosaurus. Don't remember where the hell those come from. 
you know, forgive me if I don't know where the fossils for every species in the world were discovered. I think that's South America? No, it's Herrerasaur. This is the new mod species. Maybe it's one of the European ones. Proceratosaurus, Comps of Nagus, Ceratosaurus, Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus, Menchisaurus. Did I even get a Matriocanthosaurus fossil? <laughs> In this mode? Because it seems to be kind of selective about which DLC dinosaurs show up in the JP setting. But apparently not selective in which missions it gives you. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Maybe I just need to unlock those. Oh, they might be locked by progression with one of the teams. Okay, so let's get our copies out. I hear somebody slamming a fence. Because our hands aren't full enough with walking and crawling dinosaurs, now you want dinosaurs that fly? They're reptiles, actually. And just imagine what it would be like to witness them taking flight. Within a secured enclosure, of course. Now, I just need to find Cabot. He seems to have flown the coop. Which these dinosaurs, um, sorry, reptiles, can never do. Like, ever. And you know that for a fact. Right, John? A secured Avery, Dr. Malcolm. What goes in, stays in. But, John, what exactly goes in? Stand by for helicopter arrival. So, I'm wondering if this Cabot thing is going to go anywhere, because apparently Cabot returns in Jurassic World Evolution 2 for some reason. Even though that one's only, like, semi-kind of consistent with the canon here. I don't know how they kind of reconcile the the idea of Jurassic World didn't actually fail but continued on with normal business and somehow dinosaurs still ended up on the mainland. Alright, well, we're going to have to wait for some pteranodons or we could speed up time and the waiting will be much shorter. I wonder if I can do that from this screen. Yeah! Aviary. You can incubate and release pteranodons at an aviary. You can increase the number of pteranodons that can be supported by an aviary in the info panel. Storm damage aviaries risk releasing pteranodons into the wild. I mean... Dr. Grant, the aviary research is complete. And you believe in the findings? As much as I believe in anything here, which is to say, uh, no. But the engineers... Are confident in the design. I mean, they were before, too, so, you know, we've got that to fall back on. Okay, we'll get this Avery built, powered, and connected to the rest of the park. Then we'll be able to have one of Ellie's favorites, available for study and on display. We're doing it, Alan. We're all doing it. Doing what? Proving Hammond right. Okay, so yeah, this is just a fixed structure. It is not expandable. It's also almost too big for what I built. I think I can wedge it here and connect it to the main path. I'll have to take out some of these trees. They also have been some mods for better terraforming tools, as you can see here, that let you do a lot more than the base game tools. And surprisingly, within days of Jurassic World Evolution 2 coming out, that mod has already been released for it as well, as well as a mod that reduces the restrictions on where you can build
There's still so much to do before we can confidently say we understand the ramifications of resurrecting dinosaurs. Contracts like this one here are part of that process. I very much do not care about 100%ing the contracts. Okay, this path is now not in the best place, but we can fix that later. I wish it wasn't so finicky about where it would start placing trees, but as you can see from here, from this really large scroll bar, I also have a lot of <laughs> decoration mods that we could use to fill this in. These are prehistoric trees. And we almost have enough DNA to... Get these flyers going. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Oh, great. Now I don't know where that damn dinosaur that was sick was. All the way over there. Adding task. Understood. Heading to the feeder now. Confirmed. All these partially filled feeders. I think there's an angry stegosaur somewhere. There's also a mod I added that adds more to the dinosaur's behavior. Another thing that Frontier didn't bother to do. So there's just some stuff they'll do more often, stuff that makes more sense, like heavy dinosaurs don't sprint around at all times now. They kind of calmly walk. You know, just nice little touches that I wish we had earlier. That's a stegosaur just sitting in the water, probably drowning. Dinosaur is detected. Heading to pick up the asset. All right, let's keep this DNA flowing. The DNA must flow. I'm going to delete this segment of the path right here. Switch it to... Is this the right one? I think so. Oh, this is the right one. So I'm going to do a nice straight line across now. Nope. Straight. I kind of like the the path to curve with the aviary now. But that's not something that matters that much. I'm not really that concerned about aesthetics anymore because I can't wait to see them fly. I hope I kind of just want to finish this. Share your enthusiasm, my dear Dr. Sattler. Tyrannodons. Alan, Tyrannodons. Can you believe it? How many times has that question been asked on this island? It's not how many times it's been asked, Dr. Grant. But how many times it's been answered? Today, Jurassic Park takes flight. Of course, the downside to using these time controls is that dinosaurs are going to die <laughs> of old age much faster while I'm fast-forwarding. But I guess they do that anyway. Okay, incoming storm. Uh, how much storm coverage do I have? Yeah, all the main buildings here. The fences will probably go out, but... Not a lot of carnivores out there that I need to worry about, except these guys. And the raptors. Oh, right. They're perpetually trapped in here. As three men stare at them. I like, too, the, the top cage is permanently open here instead of only being open when they're feeding them. So yeah, I changed out my rail line. I made a bunch of separate tours instead of one long one. A lot of this is not utilized, because it's all the way out there. 
Anyway. I think we have enough Pteranodon to make them without them dying horribly of deficiencies. Apparently, I can look inside this thing. I don't know how, though. Probably just clip into it with the camera. Okay, so either you can have a max of six in there. That's about it. I think they're kind of just, like, trapped in there. They don't really do anything else. These seem like wasteful upgrades. Dead dinosaur. Yep, another Pompey went down. They don't live very long. There's even a mod that adds breeding, including the ability to partially pass on the various genes you've added into them or mutate them. So that's pretty cool. Modders really put in some solid work here once they figured out the various ways that Frontier tried to lock them out so they could add new species and everything like that. Commencing asset transit. And I'm assuming that Jurassic World 2, Jurassic World Evolution 2, is using the same structure, so it's a, it'll be a lot faster for people to start making mods for that than it was for this. You know, the same tools are already available for getting into Frontier's engine. Which is the same engine used for Planet Zoo. Can I just... Can you seriously not get in here? Kind of lame to have an aviary if you're not allowed to look inside of it. <laughs> just kind of peek through the bars. I wonder if I can do follow cam, though, once we have dinosaurs in here. All right, flush that one down the toilet. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I thought I had reset it, but apparently not. So yeah, it looks like if you switch to here you can look inside it's just it doesn't let you do it from the outside easily so they're not quite the jp3 pteranodons though i think i have them all on jungle skin now so that might be why also despite being pteranodons they have teeth which are like literally the difference between a pteranodon and a pterodactyl is that pteranodons don't have teeth but that's been a semi-consistent error across some of the Jurassic Park stuff. I think the ones in Jurassic Park 3 did not have teeth, but then a lot of the other ones have in their appearances. I'm gonna get a really good close shot on this guy. I guess I should just go like here, and then feel the view it up. I'd rather get a picture in flight, though, so let's release another one now that we're not in super speed. Come on out, bud. Majestic. These guys have always kind of been assholes, though, <laughs> in all of their movie appearances when they're interacting with anybody. You know, remember when they took down the helicopter in Jurassic Park of the game? Just out of pure spite. And then in Camp Cretaceous, they do a similar thing where they take down anything that's moving in the air or even on the monorail. They really like their perches. The 
This is with the reshade off. It does actually look a bit better like this, even if I think it's a little bright. You guys ever actually uh, leave your perches once you've gotten here? I like that it is very similar to the JP3 aviary, and if it's a lot smaller. There's like all the, the fenced catwalks going through it. So you're not just like looking through the bars from the outside. And I believe if we go to... If we go to the Jurassic World era and build an aviary, it will be the glass style one. They're very quick, though. I don't think I can slow time. Oh, I can slow time. I was hitting Shift F2, not Alt F2. So yeah, these are kind of going to be the star of this episode, I guess. Flipping right into that rock. All right. Seriously? They don't have a combined rating of 400? <laughs> it's like a sliver away. All right, then we'll just put another friggin' Pteranodon in there. If you're going to complain about it. So the rating is 103, and I have four of them, which means it should be... No, uh, the first one is not 103. That's why. Because I didn't put a skin on it. Alright, who's dead? Styracosaur? Nope, Triceratops. Collecting asset. Driving by this dead <laughs> Triceratops on your tour. It's probably going to make the other ones angry. So yeah, this is one of the things that behavior mod changed, is that dinosaurs that have dominance displays will engage in them more often. Instead of just to become the alpha. But I think this is just them socializing. Where they stand in a circle and make noise at each other. Hey, Kidlers. How's it going? You two getting along? Assassin me. Step up, bro. Spinosaur dominance display. They just roar in each other's ears until one of them can't take it. Gotta love that clipping, though. Whoa. Good fellas. Well, these copies are not going to last long. Asset requiring collection. Resupply request acknowledged. How is it this feeder request is running out so badly? Oh, I wish they had this speed mod earlier. Also, I believe, if I can remember what the, the key for it is, we can uh, walk around in first person. That's another mod that the community added. So if you just want to see your park kind of from a, an easier first person perspective, you can. Oh, they can, like, kind of see it through the bars. That's accurate. Hey, look, it's flying! So, yeah, this is another neat thing that I wish Frontier had bothered to do, but they were trying to skimp as much as possible when they were making this game, and it seems like that kind of crossed over into Jurassic World Evolution as well. Hey, guys. Can I, uh, come for a drive with you? <laughs> Just perpetually sitting there with his rifle. Just for when he needs it. Five, 
All right. So let's release our coastal boy and see where we go from here. Because I don't know how much of this is actually left. I like the gold accent on his eye, even though that doesn't look supernatural. Can't imagine there were a lot of iridescent marine, or not marine, aerial reptiles. Mission complete. Yeah, so there's only one mission left. Night vision now available. Is that for the rangers? So they stop at missing this at point, night? We're just going to continue to add to the populations, dinosaurs and humans, increase the density and capacity of both. It's a miracle. Two creatures from the same place, but different worlds. The dream, Dr. Malcolm. The dream of dinosaurs once again roaming the earth. Belief pays off. Ellie, the dinosaurs went extinct because they were supposed to. Survival of the fittest, nature's law. But a new god has spoken. He wears a white cabana shirt and walks with a cane. This is John Hammond's world now. We're just, just surviving in it, marking time until we're not. We didn't suffer in vain, Ian. Something good and wonderful came out of this. Living dinosaurs. Yeah, good, wonderful. The chaos is coming, Dr. Sadler, but uh, I do admire your optimism. Welcome to Hammond Park. We should work on capitalizing on the park's ongoing success, continue expanding the park to reach a target guest count. Incubating, releasing, and enclosing a T-Rex should help you reach that goal. Drivable park tour, incubation speed. I wonder if the drivable park tour lets you drive off the rails. <laughs> And return to Jurassic Park items available in campaign and challenge mode. I think I already have 800 guests. Yup. Literally all I need is the T-Rex. And then I guess we'll be done. I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could do like a sandbox episode with some of the DLC species, but I don't think that's really going to be any different. It'll be like, ooh, ah, look at these new models. They're cool, but that's all they do is the same things that the vanilla dinosaurs do, because that's all they can do. What's that night vision that we unlocked? I also had a mod that we never got to see, which is Trespasser skins for the raptors. But I guess we didn't really see very many raptors in this. Do we even have to feed the pteranodons? They just kind of do their own thing. They continue to do the same thing. I was wondering if I could turn on first person mode and just drop to the ground in here. Alright. They fly down to the ground sometimes. Flying around like a skilled Primal Carnage character who does not just smash into the walls like I do when I try to play Pteranodon. Okay, we already have a chunk of T-Rex DNA. From when we were trying to get other stuff. Uh, where are we gonna put this guy? Or this lady? Could do this section here, since it's not really being used for anything otherwise. <laughs> right next to the Spinosaur pen.
That's probably big enough, right? Right now, I gotta find the tip again. Go. Just wanna curve it a bit. Nope. Nope. I need like here and then curve this way, kind of gently. Make use of the space. And we have the trees to hide by shitty positioning anyway. I think the T-Rex doesn't need too much forest. It's been a while since we actually used one of these. And we want a dinosaur. Wow, oh, two viable fossils. But yeah, I'm not going to like try to make this enclosure fancy because I just want to finish it. Though, it might be a while if I'm doing a longer, because I still haven't decided if I'm doing a full playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution 2, or if that even means anything, because the campaign in that is basically just the tutorial. You know, the real game is a separate mode, where I think it's more like just building a park in Operation Genesis was, where it didn't have missions, per se. Oops. And of course, we want a goat feeder. Right out front. Even though no one's going to see this. I'm waiting for it to be like, oh, now run a tour through the Tyrannosaurus paddock. Uh, I don't remember where the apatosaurs are. You guys are brachiosaurs. All right, well, whatever. You're just going over here for now. Sixty-nine <laughs> percent genome should be nice enough. Do we have anything new in here? I was wondering if some of the—that's the Spino Raptor. I was wondering if some of the mod stuff would just show up in here instead of. Requiring fossils, it would just already be unlocked, but it seems like no. I think they just don't have the both eras available flag check. Asset to be collected. Feeder resupply request received. At least it sounds like the behavior in the second game has expanded out a little bit. It's still not, like, amazing, but apparently there's a little more the dinosaurs will engage in than just feed, walk around, stand in a circle, and make noises at each other. Take one last look at the park. Pretty sure that the problem with dinosaur 
space requirements not kind of scaling with the massive size of an enclosure is still a problem, though. Come on. No whammies, no whammies. Only good genes. Yeah. Now watch, I'm going to drop it in the wrong thing and have it fight the Spinosaur. Oops. Fence broken. Who would dare? Uh, we got a huge problem. The raptors. Their pens are open, and the emergency bunkers have been disabled. You suspect more sabotage? I have zero doubts, John. And where in the hell is Cabot? Cabot killed everyone. This, John? Most certainly not. Do you? Let's not rule anything or anyone out. Perhaps that is wise. This time we have to stop the bleeding first. Or at least keep it to a minimum. Yes. Go. Whatever it takes. We've seen the reports, Ian. So, no sugar coating. Just how bad is it? Wild raptors, alpha predators, running free in the park. Probably hunting. Definitely hunting. And our guests are their most obvious prey. We can try and trank them. Agreed. And let's tell John to close the park down before the panic sets in. It's too late for that, Dr. Sattler. Closing would only make things worse. Where are the raptors? Together and creating bigger targets? Besides, closing the park, Hammond would <laughs> never go for it. Where have I seen and lived this story before? Oh, that's right. I believe it was on this very spot. Then we'll tranquilize them. It'll work. It has to. No, I need helicopter teams. Oh, right, that's the separate button. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. Ranger teams are the same in this. Tranquilize? Yeah, this is a lot easier when you can pause. Probably why they didn't let you do it. But it's kind of funny because, like, <laughs> they broke out and there's just another fence behind it. Like, the game wasn't expecting that. Also, they're kind of lucky the Spinosaurs didn't just immediately eat them when they broke out. Alright. Let time flow again. Because, like, right now, if the Spinosaur breaks out, it's just going to eat the raptors. I wonder if the raptors can do anything to the, the jeeps. I feel like they shouldn't be able to. All right, take them down, boys. Be great if the raptor could just pull the guy off and it's like, well, we need to head back to replace the man. I can do something with this shot. Pull it out a little bit. Move this here, because I have to remember that the part covered by the menu is fine. Again, pull it back a little bit. Kind of a spooky looking raptor there. <laughs> Darting the dinosaurs didn't work. I'm all ears. These raptors have been modified. Genetically, I mean. So, what, you're saying that they're mutants? They're unique expressions of a specific strain of raptor DNA. So, m mutants. Whoever's behind the hacks and sabotage did something to make the dinosaurs immune to sedation. Hmm. Someone is attacking Jurassic Park from within. And using its inhabitants to do it. Someone but more that competent. Is how we'll save it. What do you have in mind, Ellie? The T-Rex. We turn her loose. Um, n no. No, let's not do that. Chaos, Ian. Isn't that what you wanted? Malcolm, it saved us before. She'll want to establish dominance immediately, which means she's going to go after the raptors. Uh, not like this. Didn't John Hammond tell you whatever it takes? Well, this is what it takes. A T-Rex. <sighs> I hate this place. What are you biting? love bites. Okay, well, apparently the Spinosaurs don't give a shit, so... Hopefully the T-Rex will home in on them.
release the Rex. We're just gonna wait for her to find them? This could take a while. She's contemplating the water. Trying to understand this new world she's been dropped into. Hold on. I don't know exactly what the button is for that. I'm pressing like a bunch of different things. <laughs> it's Shift X. But yeah, we can just, you know, walk over. See how she's doing. She's still just staring. Majestic creature indeed. Meanwhile, but it's funny to me all the times that to get these missions to work, they have to arbitrarily make things not work. Like, oh, yeah, the shelters are just off. They just don't work. I don't know what to tell you. These animals only have a few ways to express themselves, and rage... All right, I've opened a path. She seems forward. to know her mission. Go get him, girl. Use that 32 miles per hour sprint speed. I hope she knows where the raptors are, because otherwise it would take her forever to find them. Uh-oh. Okay, ship's passing in the night. I don't want her to get into a fight with the Spinosaurus. Where'd she go? Come on, sniff him out. You know what you must do. <laughs> I appreciate... The Spinosaur just kind of, like, nudged that one car. Hmm, should we be concerned about this? No. All part of the tour. I mean, he's not enraged, so... Not really a reason for him to attack. Alright, go find the Velociraptors. Because I don't friggin' know where they are now. Responding to repair request. They break into the compi pens. <laughs> it's it's literally put itself in a fence. Freedom, my brother. The ranger still just tranking them repeatedly. Forget it. It's not gonna work. repair all the holes they made. The Spinosaurus also coming in. Where did the Rex go? Okay. See the Velociraptors. See the Spinosaur, which is now also upset. Do not see my Rexy, though. Oh, there she is. She's found them. She stops roaring, she just kind of looks like a satisfied chicken. <laughs> what if the Spinosaur is going to kill some of the raptors? That'd be funny. Together at last. Oh, 
just wanted a drink. Setting Still gonna get tranquilized. We have to let her have her moment of glory. Where she fucking eats a raptor. As it should be. Or just eats it. Eat him and eat him, girl. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Collision box? What's a collision box? Something Frontier's never heard of. Oh no, she's a little sluggish because she got hit with one of the darts. It's okay, shake it off. So yeah, this is definitely chaos. I guess this makes sense for the ending of this DLC that the park basically still fails because Cabot's a selfish asshole. Just like Nedry. But Nedry was also an incompetent, selfish asshole. Programming was the only thing he was good at. She's still panicking. She's no longer panicking. Unfortunately, the time controls do not work if you have, like, a menu open, because otherwise the brackets just go forward and backward. She's, like, not unhappy at all. She's having a good time. And she hasn't even killed anyone. At least not intentionally. She might have trampled a few people. Oops. <laughs> this raptor had no idea what was coming. <laughs> Managed to deke out of the way, though, at the last second. Battle for the ages. I mean, they do have a good animation for them attacking the T-Rex. However, they do not have a herd or pack animation for attacking the T-Rex. They have to do this one at a time, which is something that Jurassic World Evolution 2 has. Pack attacks, but... I think those are pretty scripted. They're not very, like, free with any pack hunter species. <laughs> Spinosaur always comes to see what's happening. Okay, I think they're all dead now. So are any of the other fences broken? This one's broken for some reason. Adding to the list. That's about it. I just have to repair the inner fences. Also, I'm not sure why the selections for these things are kind of broken right now. Picking up asset. Well, they're still working, they just look weird. Get rid of all these dead guys. Send the Spinosaurus home. It might be because I have my controller plugged in right now, so it's like trying to use that. Asset transportation in progress. T-Rex goes uh, over here. In the air. Transit has commenced. Oh, uh, I guess there's an angry Pegasaur. Confirming 
Asset delivery. Adding task. All right. Everything's pretty much resolved. Asset transportation underway. If these rangers knew how to drive, Jesus Christ. Asset transportation. Assuming direct control. These things do not turn quickly, though. Hopefully they can hit it from here. All right, he's down. En route to collect the asset. So what does that leave us? Got some copies that are out of containment. Responding to repair request. Request acknowledged. Now where's the dinosaur threat? God damn it, they're still getting in. Fix the fence myself. Nowhere left to go, man. Just turn yourself in. He can trample over this thing, though, if he wants. Warning. Ranger vehicle under attack. All right. And that's it. That is the end of the Return to Jurassic World camp or Park campaign. I thought it was a neat addition, but it didn't so fix the sabotage and data theft. a lot of the issues. They are my only real competition at the moment, and I needed to stop them before they can do any more harm to InGen. And to Jurassic Park, of course. I knew they wouldn't give up after their first attempt. So then, Finch's disappearance was all part of the plan. Am I not allowed to have some surprises of my own, Dr. Malcolm? Huh. I'm starting to like you, John. So Bison didn't get to you, Cabot? Of course not. I was working a con from the inside for Mr. Hammond. John, keep oh, no. us out of the loop like before. <laughs> it's not exactly inspiring confidence. Running through the water, Compy. Why? Because he didn't trust us. Isn't that right, John? Our previous uh, uh, difficulties were the result of an inside job. Regrettable, really. Still, I needed to be sure that no one else was involved. Okay, but why Cabot? His mother is one of my biggest investors. I've always loved dinosaurs. My mother invested on my behalf. It was just a lucky break that John was looking for someone with my skill set. She's worth billions. Quiet money. Who would ever have known? <laughs> right. So you don't worry about money? Worry about? No. Obsess over it? Well, <laughs> I confess. Consider me guilty. Which is I come from a rich family. Cabot here has become such a valued asset. Because he, he adds the greed factor. Science and art have always needed commerce, Dr. Malcolm. You can't change that reality. But John, changing reality is precisely what you've done with Jurassic Park. And only time will reveal the extent of the damage. Or the good. Ellie's right. This has the potential to be a place where people can truly learn from the past. And repeat its mistakes. No, you're wrong, Ian. They're not mistakes. These dinosaurs are beautiful animals. They deserve the chance we've given them. They deserve Jurassic Park. Time always tells, doesn't it? Isn't that true of everything? Yep. Everything takes time. And money. We have both. 
And now the world has a place, this place, to visit these wonderful creatures. Thanks to you, the dinosaurs live. Jurassic Park lives. Or as uh, Dr. Malcolm would put it, we found a way. Life finds a, a way. All right, so that is the end for sure. But yeah, like I said, it didn't fix really many of the issues. It added a few things people wanted, like the aviary, but in a very basic capacity. Because it sounds like they were just actively shelving features to put into Jurassic World Evolution 2 because they didn't have many ideas of their own. I can't help but have this kind of cynical feeling about Frontier, and that's without even being an elite dangerous player. <laughs> because they've got their own set of problems over there. But it's not that I hated the game. Obviously, I wouldn't have done 33 episodes of a game that I can't stand, unless it was something, like, intentionally bad, but probably never for that long. But it's disappointing, because it could have been a lot. This could have been a new revival of Operation Genesis, and instead they said, what if we take Operation Genesis, cut out about a third of the features, and give it some fancy new graphics? And, like, this game was somewhat rushed because it had to be released alongside Fallen Kingdom. They wanted it out at around the same time to get people hyped. But Jurassic World Evolution 2 doesn't really have that excuse because, you know, Dominion has been super delayed by, like, two years from its original release window. And it sounds like it suffers from a lot of the same issues. So we're going to be finding out about that soon. But until then, thank you for joining me on this Jurassic journey through both Jurassic World and Jurassic Park, and maybe I'll see you back in the park again in the near future. Take care, y'all.